Hey everybody, welcome to Prepper Junkie. Today we're going to go over Palmetto State Armory's KS47. Uh, this is the 8.5 inch and it's chambered in 762 by 39. So we'll just go ahead and jump on in here. If you don't know much about the KS47 line, these are essentially a hybrid between AR-15s and, and uh, AK-47. Obviously it looks like an, uh, an AR without the magazine and it looks like an, you know, an AR pistol. Um, but it is chambered in 762 by 39 and it does use uh, AK mags. Uh, they do rock into place like a standard AK, rock into place, and it does have a nice big paddle here for taking the magazine in and out. And the paddle is, has got grooves on here, so it's easy, your finger's not going to slip off. Okay, starting at the back here, we have an SBA3 brace. Um, again, they just came out with an SBA4. I still think this is one of the best braces on the market. It comes with a standard, oh, and the brace does have multiple positions for locking. I believe it's a five piece locking system. Uh, it does have a place for a QD mount. Uh, moving forward, you have a standard charging handle. Now, another thing with these, there's a magazine in there. It is empty, the gun is empty. There is no lash round or bolt catch here on the back okay so it, it, that's kind of standard with uh it kind of follows the ak's you know with the, it doesn't have the last round hold open so um one of the things that with this is with the heavy buffer spring it is a pull to get that back um and you have to you can't change out the buffer spring it has to be used with a heavy buffer spring and a heavy buffer so that combo has to stay in here um, so i would recommend up um, like upgrading the charging handle to a, like a, either an ambidextrous one or one that has more that comes out more so you can get more of a grip on this because it is definitely a lot harder to rack uh, than a standard ar15 so that would probably be my first upgrade on this would be to add the upgraded charging handle okay uh, and it comes with a, a psa uh, boat carrier grip here. I don't know, probably can't see it. It's marked KS47. It says PSA Hybrid on there. Um, I'll do a, in a minute or two, I'll, I'll go and do an internals and I'll show you the difference between this and a standard AR15 charging, uh, AR15 um, boat carrier grip. So it does come with a dust cover and a forward assist, standard to any AR. Uh, and then we move along here. This is a, again, this, this gun is 100%. PSA made. So all the products are made in-house from PSA uh, and they do come with a lifetime warranty on them which is really nice. So this is an M-Lock rail. It's an 8-inch M-Lock rail and it's aggressively cut out to make it uh, lightweight as you can see. And the barrel is a 1 in 10 twist. It is a heavy barrel profile and it comes with an A2 uh, birdcage flash hider. Alright, the trigger is an enhanced uh, their EPT PSA's EPT trigger, their hands polish trigger, and if you see my other videos, they're they're a pretty good trigger. They don't cost very much, and it's it's way better than the mil spec. It's nothing like a Geisley trigger or anything like that, but it is a lot nicer than your mil spec trigger. So, on the back here, we do have the standard fire and safe. Put it on fire. We'll show you here if we can get. There's very. Sorry, I'm trying to get the best way to show you guys. There's very little to no take up. Nice clean audio break, as you probably heard. Definitely not easy doing that. And then the reset is short, tactile. So it's, it's a good trigger. As I say, it's much better than the, the mil spec. Um, so uh, it's not bad at all. There was something else I was going to tell you guys, and I just forgot. Oh, the grip is a Magpul that comes with it. This is, and it's the Magpul grip. And it comes with a little storage compartment at the bottom for batteries or whatever you want to put in there. So that's kind of a nice feature. Um, you can switch these out. Uh, Magpul has another, um, another grip. Um, Magpul, I'm trying to think of what it's called, but it's, it's more of a straight. So instead of being angled back, it's more, it just makes the grip a little nicer, but still a good grip that comes with it. Um, definitely no complaints there. That. <laughs> That charging is not fun, um, but other than that, it's been great. Um, the, the first upper I got, there was issues. I went to the range, and it would not cycle whatsoever. And so I contacted PSA, and I said, "Hey, this gun is not cycling." Uh, and they looked into it, and they were really quick to respond. And they said, "Hey, we're really sorry. There's an issue with the gas block. Um, it hasn't been drilled properly. Please send the upper back in." We they paid for the shipping. They had it turned around and sent back to me within the week. Apologized profusely, um, but. 
for me, it's like, yeah, they made a mistake, but for me, a company that's willing to admit to their mistake and correct a problem that quickly says more about the company than anything else. So customer service with PSA has always been phenomenal. This is probably my fifth or sixth firearm through them. That's the only issue I've ever, ever had. And they took care of me very, very quickly. So very impressed with that. All right, so I think we've covered um, everything that we have to out here. So we'll let's go ahead and we'll dive into the internals and uh, we'll see see what we've got. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the internals here to show you uh, just a couple of the big differences um, between a, an actual AR uh, bulk carrier grip and the KS47. So I have it laid out here. Um, you know, at initial glance, it's like, oh, they look both, you know, pretty much the same. Um, but then you'll see there is um, some pretty major differences in the back here. This is the AR-15 bolt carrier grip. And so you can see that it's been kind of like uh, cut away at the back here, slim down. Uh, one of the other big differences, and for good reason, let's see. Again, so you can see all, all the notches here are straight on the AR-15 bolt. But if you look on here, you'll see that these are there's a curved one here and there's a curved one here now the reason they created it like that is because uh, when it slides it's kind of hard to do this behind the camera but um, so when it comes back and it will just slide along so it won't rip up your magazines essentially so that's what the curves do let's see if I can get it facing this way so you can see it there how, how it will go the two curves will sit on the two feed lips and as I say, it will just it will stop from hopefully wrecking your your magazines quicker than you want them to be done. So here, as I say, other than that, it's very very similar to. I say the back here is a little different, but you know, very similar. Um, and then this is the standing charge and handle that comes with it. I do recommend because it is so heavy, the heavy spring, uh, buffer spring and heavy buffer, it's a, it's a spring that does it. It's hard to pull back. So I would recommend getting like um, an upgraded uh, charging handle. This is a BCM Voltar, um, but there's tons of them out there. This is just ones that I have. Um, Cause when you're pulling it back, you really have to get a kind of a good grip on your charging handle to really, cause it's uh, kind of a hard pull. And, for me, my finger just kind of slips off this one. So I would upgrade that. It's one of the first things I would probably do if I were, if I were you. Um, and then side, you can just see here, it's the, the PSA EPT trigger. It has Paulus trigger, which is nice. Um, you cannot use, um, you can use AR-15 triggers in this, but you cannot use cassette tape, you know, the CMC drop-in triggers, you can't use those, anything that kind of like cassette tape trigger. But if it's Geisley or, uh, I don't know, whatever trigger you're putting, as long as it's a normal trigger put in there and not a cassette, you'll be fine. So you can switch the trigger out to any AR-15 trigger you like, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the inside for you, the internals. So, all right, that is it. Um, if you guys have any questions, any comments, as always, please leave them below. I'm happy to help you if I can. And um, yeah, there's a link in the description. Um, the cost of this is $6.99 shipped. Um, and uh, yeah, just go ahead. If you're going to purchase it, you know, it doesn't cost you guys anything, but it helps the channel out if you do click the link in the description. So that's it. Have a wonderful day, guys. See you later.